Welcome to the Theory Test Tutor. We're going to do a 10 question mock test. Let's get straight into it. Which color follows the green signal at a puffin crossing? Red, steady red, flashing amber, flashing green, or steady amber? So, which color follows the green signal means what comes after the green signal at a puffin crossing? In this case, we're going to have steady amber. Okay? Not flashing following a collision the person has been injured what would be a warning sign for shock rapid shallow breathing warm dry skin flushed complexion or slow pulse okay collision like an accident okay someone has been injured in an accident a collision could be between two cars a car pedestrian anything along those lines what is the warning sign for shock yeah uh, the warning sign for that would be rapid, shallow breathing, okay? So rapid, like quick, short breaths. That's the warning sign that this person is in shock. Okay, so the answer for that is A. Other drivers may sometimes flash their headlights at you. What's the official meaning of this signal? You've probably come across this where people flash the headlights to give way or to tell them, look, yes, you can go. You can cross the road, but this is not the official meaning of the signal, okay? The official meaning is it that there is a radar speed trap ahead, they, they're giving way to you, they're warning you of their presence, or there's a fault with your vehicle. So the correct answer in this case is they're warning you of their presence, okay? Letting you know that they're there, um, just like the horn in the vehicle, but this would sound. You've been driving in fog. What must you do when visibility improves? Improves, okay, so visibility is getting better. Okay, but before that you were driving in fog and now it's getting better. So what must you do? So there's must in here. Keep your rear fog lights switched on. Switch off your fog lights. Keep your front fog lights switched on. Leave your fog lights switched on in case the fog returns three options one three and four or a c and d uh, are telling you to keep it on either the front one or the back one even though it tells you that there is no more fog okay visibility is improving so just switch off your fog lights okay you're following a large vehicle as it approaches a crossroads what should you do if the driver signals to turn left? Overtake if there are no oncoming vehicles. Wait for the vehicle to finish turning. Overtake if you can leave plenty of room or wait for the driver to cancel their signal. We have to wait for the vehicle to finish turning. You're driving on the motorway. Which lane should you get into well before you reach your exit? The middle lane, the left hand lane, the hard shoulder or the right hand lane. Uh, the questions that come up in the theory test about the motorway usually three lane motorways. Okay. So by default, we should always be in the left hand lane anyway, unless we are overtaking. Well before you reach your exit, you should be in the left hand lane. Why should these road markings be kept clear? So the road marking says school keep clear and yellow zigzag lines a to allow children to be dropped off at school to allow teachers to park to allow children to see and be seen when they're crossing the road or to allow children to be picked up after school in this case it is to allow children to see and be seen when they're crossing the road so this sign will usually be accompanied with an, an additional sign giving you uh, times of when not to park here or keep this area clear as there is a school. You're reversing into a side road. When would your vehicle be the greatest hazard to passing traffic? Just before you begin to maneuver, when the front of your vehicle swings out, after you've completed the maneuver or after you've entered the side road. Okay, we can click on the hint. If you look on here in the bottom, hint, you will get the DVSA explanation. Always check in all directions before reversing. Keep a good lookout throughout the maneuver 
and remember that the front will swing out as you reverse into the side road. Act on what you see and wait if necessary. So when the front of your vehicle swings out, your vehicle is at its greatest hazard to passing traffic, okay? You are about to drive home. What should you do if you feel very tired and have a severe headache? Wait until you're fit and well before driving. Drive home if you can stay awake for your journey. Drive home but take a tablet for headaches. Wait for a short time, then drive, drive home slowly. You should be using your common sense in this case is if you're very tired, they've given you in the question, and have a severe headache, okay? So, um, all of us know how it feels to be very tired. And when you're very tired, the possibility of you falling asleep is very high. So we don't want to be falling asleep while we're driving, okay? We're going to harm ourselves and others, other road users. And on top of that, we have a severe headache. Okay, not just any old headache, but a severe headache. So this is giving you like a tip and a hint for you not to drive at all and wait until you're fit and well before driving. Last question for this mock test. You're driving in a built up area that has traffic calming measures. What should you do when you approach a road hump? So this is a road hump. That's another road hump on the other side of the road. Okay, this is known as a traffic calming measure. What do you do in this case when you approach this road hump? Check your mirror and slow down. Wait for any pedestrians to cross. Move across to the left hand side of the road or st stop and check both pavements. In this case, we check our mirror and slow down. Okay, we don't wait for any pedestrians to cross. There's, there's no pedestrian crossing here. This is not a zebra crossing. This is for you to um, drive slowly on that road because it's, as you can see in the image it's a residential area there are houses there are children around there could be a school around here okay so this is a traffic calming measure to slow traffic down so you check your mirror and slow down all right so we've got 10 out of 10 make sure to follow my page a theory test tutor i'll be making more of these videos quick 10 question mock tests make sure to follow my page to get notifications when the next video is up